Ugh, Sanrio update! We expected something like this to come since Nintendo was bringing the previously Japan-exclusive Sanrio Animal Crossing amiibo cards, holy crap, that was a lot of words, to the United States. But this trailer got dropped out of nowhere. Previously, the amiibo cards only worked with New Leaf. They brought crossover characters as island villagers and each had their own set of furniture items. It looks like the same idea is returning to New Horizons and we can get our lovely Sanrio villagers back. There are six amiibo cards available in the pack and they'll be released exclusively at Target on March 26th. <laughs> uh, not sponsored, but would be nice if I was. Let's get a frame by frame breakdown. There looks to be an outfit for each of the six amiibo cards available. The first one we get a look at is Hello Kitty herself. There's an adorable cat head, overall dress, and white bow shoes. On the right, there's a Hello Kitty plant sitting on the table. Oh, it's so cute. Upon entering the house, we see a Hello Kitty floor with an adorable rug. There's a Hello Kitty bed on the corner, and it has this amazing teddy bear with it. Uh, there's a red and blue dresser next to it, a Hello Kitty table in the other corner, and a chair that we don't get to see the front of. But I imagine it's similar to the one we got in New Leaf, since mostly everything in the house is the same items that Rila has in the 3DS version. There is a clock that you can see for a half second on the wall, pretty much confirming that everything Rila had in New Leaf is returning to New Horizons. The wallpaper is also Hello Kitty themed, and now I'm wondering how many times I've said Hello Kitty in the last minute. The player talks to the villager, and we get reintroduced to Rila the gorilla. She's got a bow that could just be a part of her character design since this wasn't something we could purchase in New Leaf, as well as a Hello Kitty shirt. I assume the clothing and furniture items in the villager houses will be available to us and not just something to look at in their houses, especially seeing as events like the flea market and campground have disappeared. The plant outside hints to it because how else would that furniture item get out there if we can't touch it? So my hopes are pretty high. Next we get a look at the Pom Pom Purin theme. Outside we see the amazing pudding. Yes, more food. The player is wearing an adorable hat, yellow jacket skirt combo, and yellow shoes. Entering the house, we see more amazing furniture, pom pom puran, floor and wall, a butt rug, mm -hmm. book stand, which was called rack in New Leaf for some reason, bed, table, chair, and TV above the bed. We also get to meet Marty, who's wearing the same hat as us, and a pom pom puran t-shirt. Moving on, we get the little twin stars theme. Outside, we see the cute clad machine returning. We even get to see what it does when the player interacts with it. The handle turns and the colored smoke puffs come out on the other side. The player is dressed in a starry pink dress with cute shoes and a hairpin in her hair. In the house, we see a Kiki and Lala rug, a shooting star table, this couch that almost looks like it's from the Mermaid series, but is actually the same couch as in New Leaf, a cloud bed in the back, and the same cloud machine in the corner. The walls and floors are also adorned with little twin star themed colors, and we see the very bottom of the Kiki and Lala clock on the wall. We get to meet Itwal. It, Itwal. Itwal. One of those. Something like that. Who is wearing a star stripe shirt? The next character is Cinema Roll. This outside has a lot more going on. We've got these parasols, teacup chairs, cloud table, and tea set. Next to the house, there's also a cafe sign with Cinema Roll on top. The fact that all this stuff is outside kind of confirms that if we get the amiibo cards, we'll have access to all the Sanrio furniture. God, that would be so rude to only let the villagers have it. The player is wearing an adorable cinema roll hat and blue shirt. The shorts look to be ones we already have, and the shoes are probably the blue rubber-toed shoes we, again, already have. Inside, we get a look at the flooring and wallpaper, rug, and couch. The small table, tea set, stool, sign, and parasol are the same items we saw outside. And Chai is back. Ugh, she is my favorite elephant. Cute blue cup of tea on the head. Oh, yeah, my spirit animal for sure. Next are the My Melody items. There's a pink and white rocking chair outside. The player is wearing a My Melody hat, cute pink, red, and white dress, as well as cute shoes. Inside, we get the themed flooring and wall, My Melody rug, bed, dresser, small table, and what I'm assuming is the bottom of the My Melody clock, as well as the same chair that we saw outside. We get reintroduced to Chelsea, who is wearing a My Melody themed shirt. I believe her headband is attached to her head, and thus we will probably not have access to it, but I'm, I'm willing to try to rip it off. Next, we get the Kurobi themed items. I mean, just look at this. Ugh, this is how you make frogs cute. This cake is adorable. It's set on top of the Kurobi tray. There's also a stone lantern in the back. The player is shown wearing a Dendun Den and Teru Teru head item, cute overall shorts combo, and what looks to be green rain boots. In the house, we've got this amazing floor and wall, Kuropi doll, shoji benches, and the tranquil bridge. We again see Toby wearing a red striped tank top. The trailer ends there. It informs us that the new update will be available March 18th, a bit before the cards are officially released in the US. So if you have the Japanese ones already, you should be able to access the new items as soon as the update is released. As of the writing of the script, there is no more additional information on the official website. 
If anything comes up that's worth noting, I'll make another quick video for it. Normally, I'd be upset with the fact that the developers just took everything from the previous game, spruced it up a bit for HD, and spit it back out. I guess the rugs are technically new though. But the fact that these cards weren't available in the US, to me these items are new. I never bothered to search for a Japanese pack back in the day because the import prices just didn't seem worth it to me. I'm also excited for this pretty beefy update. New villagers and furniture are updates that we've been asking for, and Nintendo is delivering. This is a good step in the right direction. Hopefully we'll get more crossover villagers and items, whether or not they are the same things that we had in New Leaf like Wolf Link or Inkwell. This update gets me very excited for 2021. I cannot wait to see what comes next. What was your favorite part of the trailer? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!